the tickler file. What do we use it for? That was one of the most common questions I was asked last week and so I thought why not in this week's episode I'm going to show you how to get the most from a tickler file. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and I'm coming to you from the beautiful county of Galway in Ireland. Now this week I have been inundated with questions about the Tickler file. Now the Tickler file is a GTD concept. Basically it used to be 43 folders which represented days of the month and the days of the month and the 12 months that followed. But now we live in the digital world and it means that we can actually recreate the original Tickler file in our to-do list managers. And it's something that I couldn't live without. I use it to remind me about checking concert dates for my favorite band, Above and Beyond. And I also use it to remind me to make decisions about whether I want to attend an event later in the year or whether I need to be thinking about booking flights to go on holiday or to go on a business trip, all sorts of things I use the Tickler file because they're not related to any specific project. They're just little reminders that come up. So I'm going to show you how to set one up and I'm going to show you how to get the most out of it in this week's episode. So let's go straight into Todoist now and I'll show you how to set up a Tickler file. Okay, so here is my Tickler file project folder. Now this, to be fair, is my demo account at the moment. But I've added a few that I do actually have in my regular um, Tickler folder. And I just wanted to use this as an example of how I'm using it. Now, a lot of people in the past when I've talked about my Tickler have always said, why don't you put this in a, a next actions folder? Or why don't you put this in a project folder? And sure, I could do that. But I've been using a Tickler file for probably about 10 years now and certainly ever since I moved to a digital format I've always had the tickler at the top of my folder and the top of my projects list and the main reason is it's just for those things that are not project specific and not related to my areas of focus they're just things I want to be reminded of and as you can see last week when I was talking about building trust into your system you can use your tickler file exactly for that although I don't actually do that um, so something like review project X, that to me would actually be a project task and I would just add that. So that's not normally in my Tickler file. But in my Tickler file are pretty much everything else that I've got in here. And these are things like decide whether or not to attend the British Chamber of Commerce breakfast meeting in July. I don't have to make a decision on that right now and I'm really not sure what I'm going to be doing in July. So I've just added the Tickler there just to ask myself on the 1st of June whether I really want to do it much closer to the event. It's not related to a project. I mean, a breakfast meeting actually is an event that would go on my calendar, but I don't want to be thinking about it right now. So I just had a tickler. <clears throat> Decide whether to get tickets for AGB, ABGT 350. Again, is another one that I don't really want to make a decision until the 1st of May. So that's set up for the 1st of May. So those are the, some of the things that I use the tickler for, but there are other things. For example, we're now coming to the, or we now are at the end of winter. We're very much into spring now. So I don't need to buy a new navy blue um, jumper, polo, polo neck sweater or jumper as we call it in England. So I've created a tickler and I've added it for the 1st of October. But what I've also done is I've actually added a link to the sweater that I want to buy. So when it comes to the 1st of October, it's really easy to actually just go straight to the actual sweater that I want. I can check it out. I can have a look at it. I can decide, do I really want to get this sweater? You know, all these decisions can come back in October. I don't have to worry about it right now. Another one, which is actually a little bit closer is whether I want to buy Sunspell t-shirts for the summer. These uh, t-shirts were actually used in the movie Casino Royale. And as those of you have been following me for a while, you know that I'm a big, big, big James Bond fan. So these are some really, really good, well-built t-shirts. And I realized that I can also get my long sleeve t-shirt and Henley t-shirts from there if I wish. And again, I put a link to it and that's coming up in the next couple of weeks. Also, if I want to, I haven't made any decisions about this year's summer holidays. So I may want to decide to think about that on the 1st of May. Another one that I use every single month 
is to check above and beyond's tour days because i really really like to see what my favorite band is doing and if they're coming to korea and of course things like doctor's appointments and dental appointments or checkups and scaling you know all those things can be put into your tickler file because they're not really projects they're just things that you want to be reminded of on a specific day in the future and that's how i use the tickler file now there are other things that you can use it for let's say that you get a a letter or something that's uh, inviting you to a wedding and you just take a scan of the wedding invitation and just to put a picture into to do is with a tickler decide whether you want to go so there's many many uses of the tickler file and as i say they're not actually project specific i.e they're not necessarily going to help you in terms of a project but they're just those little reminders that you may want to add that could that you've thought about but you don't have to make a decision or don't have to do anything about it just yet and you can just add it as a tickler and it will come up when you need to see it I couldn't live without my tickler. I rely on it almost every day. And as I say, if you go into my next seven days, you can see as we're coming up to the beginning of a month, I generally have quite a few on my beginning of the month. This one always comes up on the beginning of the month, my check above and beyond tour dates. Uh, this one will come up at the beginning of the month. And these are just fantastic little things that come up on the day and I can, I'll can i see them and I can make a decision whether I want to do anything about it. And that's essentially how it all works. Okay. That's answering the question that I was asked after last week's episode and I thought, well, okay, I'll do another video on the tickler because I know it can be so useful for so many people and it's just something that pops up on the day when you need to see it and you can make a decision or you can put it off to another day. There's no stress. Okay, thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course, and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.